All right, what's up, everybody? This is Rob Shack. So, turning the next video in my 007 Agent Under Fire walkthrough, not at the Jackal Platinum mission. So, this will be fun. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Notice that they have Hungary written below Romania on that map. That's horribly inaccurate. It's hilarious. But I'm not too worried about it. So, we're going to go for the Platinum here. Um. I'm going to show y'all where to get the little thingies. Also, just going to kind of explore the whole map. That's kind of the whole point of Platinum is you uh, look around and have fun trying to find everything. Peaceful map starts out. Chill. All of a sudden, the bus comes in and destroys everything. <clears throat> There's one of the... I know that one of the um, little gold things is in... One of the gold things is for sure in the, um... Thanks for just running at me, you two. That's, that's great. So one of the two things is, um... In one of these... Or one of the things is in the little windows. I just remember which one it is. So, we'll find that. I'll show you where it is. But yeah, it's pretty cool. There's also a shotgun in one of these little rooms and stuff like that. There's, this level is fun because there's a lot of little secrets. For being a very simple, like, take out the jackal. That's like pretty much the whole point of this level. It works pretty well, honestly. Sneak around here. See where we can look at this dude's face. Pop him right in the face. The controls in this game are super touchy, which is... It fixed a lot of this in uh, the later... Uh, Bond games on the, what was it, the PS2 and stuff like that, so. Just gonna check there. These units over here at the little gate, obviously, they don't stop shooting until, um, oh, 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 okay. uh, the enemies over there will eventually all just come at you. Why can't I get on this? Like a car? Let's go on the car. The controls in this game are like so sensitive, which is pretty funny. Jump. There we go. Let's also shoot up the shotgun one, because we should. Go. I'm not gonna get the armor yet, because I've only taken like a tiny, tiny bit of damage. get a little bit more efficient with my shots because I don't want to miss I want to have no uh, P2K ammo or whatever gun that is called it's whatever it is you know they they clearly it's a good it's a Walther but you know whatever there's some shoes I just throw the nade there Get him Okay, so now we just got rid of those two dudes. Let's kind of come over here. Get my pistol out, get ready to shoot this sniper. I think he dies in like literally one bullet. They don't really make this sniper really strong. Ow. It's fine. So now let's go. Yeah, they, yeah I know, yeah. I'll make, I'll make it real clear. All right, so now we're gonna come over here. Just gonna check. I actually don't know where the little things are, but I'm gonna explore the level. Stuck on that, that's great. Okay. Now let's get ready ready to get my claw out. Go over here. Some pretty yep, I knew there'd be one over there because they obviously want. It is cool how they want you to explore, but they also kind of let you know, like, the ways you were going around before were the right way. Like, 
me, I always would come up here to get the sniper anyway because I like having the sniper. It works to have the sniper. It helps take out the jackal easy. Then they also are like, hey, if you do this, we'll also give you a bond move thing. Okay, so now we're in. And just check every little corner. Wow, this hilarious cutscene where R is like, hey. I thought that would catch your eye, 007. Now pay attention. This ordinary looking business card contains circuitry that will turn your watch. All right. Okay, I think we're good. Obviously, we don't find all of them. I'll look it up and I'll show you where all of them are. But for now, I'm just kind of commentating it because it's funny. Alright, so now we'll come this way. Have this little key. Leads us into this building. And there's armor at the base of these stairs, which is good. Now we get to the point where we're going to be rescuing a whole bunch of hostages. Which is kind of scary, but they, they don't, they, some of them are stupid and will run across the screen in front of you, which is annoying, but some of them are not stupid. No, she's stupid. So I'm like, do you want me to accidentally shoot you? Like, I'm sure people will shoot that chick right away because she runs right in front of you, you know? And you too. The next one. So I don't know how many I've found. Three? I think I found three of them so far. Got the Ingalls. Very slowly here. It's like we do not want to accidentally shoot a hostage, which totally happens as well. Got a whole bunch of angles ammo. The angles, unfortunately, in this game, in in this is this game is based heavily on World's Not Enough. All the guns are the same, and a lot of the character models were actually the same character characters from uh, World's Not Enough. But the angles is for some reason completely horrific in this game compared to how good it was in the um in the uh in uh, World's Not Enough. I don't really know why. Get a grenade out, a nade behind this wall right here. Get back behind it. Boom. Took out everybody. So apparently, I, I like how this game works with it. They actually have a efficiency stat where if you get like multi kills or get headshots, they actually give you more points. I think that's really interesting in this game and it incentivizes creative play. So I think that's kind of fun. Um, where goes that guy's gun? Where did the other guy's gun go? I definitely killed two people there. Maybe I just missed his ammo, but it's fine. Um, and there's gonna be another group of two right back here. So I'm gonna see this burning thing and then grenade right there. Back up, cause an explosion, boom. So that stuff is really fun. I like that they give you incentives for getting uh, double kills, stuff like that. I think that's a really creative way to make it like a stat. I don't know if they even do that in uh, Nightfire. Now that I think about it. And there's that chick. I'm gonna open this elevator. She talks about Poseidon and you're like, what? And then no one asks, she doesn't ask any questions. There's no more discussion after that. <laughs> Absolutely radio silent between me and the, the doctor. So now we're gonna open this, shoot uh, any, one of these millions of barrels it's very overkill because like, why would we need that many barrels i don't know so 
I don't know if that dude's ammo falls down to me or if I just never can get it, but who cares. Alright, so now... Jackal. I'm gonna get... Ooh, she shot the grenade this time. Wow. Pop some shots, reload. She'll shoot a bunch. Eventually these crates will break down, so you like kind of want to not take too long. She's using a gun that has a fire rate that is impossible for you to use when you have the FSU-4. When she shoots it, it's like she fires it like insanely quickly, but then as the player, you cannot do that. Obviously, you, you push the little button, make her fall for you. Uh... Did you encounter the jackal? What happened? She's fallen for me. Jack corners. And then now we're going to head up here. Always snipe the uh, the dude in the in the uh, helicopter because it's pretty cool. Again, they're creative with when when a, a Bond game is always a fun game to play because it allows the makers to do like let's do like crazy stuff. Where's the rocket launcher? Okay. Right, where's this thing? Oh. Pull off the snipe. Okay, no. Let's look around for a bond moves thing first. Okay, there's that one. Ow. This is actually taking some damage here. I need to. Locked it. That was actually kind of scary. I kind of took a lot of damage there, <laughs> but we did it. I've also don't stand by the helipad. It always crashes in the same spot. I have killed myself in this game, running into the helipad and then getting hit by the dying helicopter. It always does that, and then it explodes. Actually, it was really close to dying. It's kind of scary. So how many did I find? Four. Okay. Yeah, four. So that was it. I got the multiplayer weapon, the Viper, which is that revolver. So there we go. One down. Next week, we're going to do Streets of Bucharest. So we'll get that going. Thank you all for watching.